you can now add page numbers automatically in Canva. In this new update, there's a dynamic uh, text element that you can put on pages and you have a few options with it and it will automatically number your pages. Let's take a look at that. So I have this presentation here that has a bunch of different pages or slides. And if I want to, I could add in a the dynamic text element that is my page number. So we come over here to the left hand side to text. And then as we scroll down, we're going to find this dynamic text. When we click on that, it's going to add a page number to our slide. Now you can see it down here. It's really, really small. And so we can click this and drag it around, put it wherever we want. I can scale this up with the corner and just kind of scale that text up. I can also use my options up here to change the font size and even change the font if I want to. And so my document fonts are Canvas Sans, Playfair, and Public Sans. So maybe I want Playfair to be the, uh, the font for the page number. Now I can decrease the size of this and kind of design it. Maybe I'll put it up here in the corner and I'll figure out what that looks like on each page. But when I have this selected, I can click this edit button, or you might even see already on the left hand side, this little dialogue window. And you can change the format of your page numbers. So it can be numbers only, or you can have page plus number. So it can say like page one, page two, etc. You can also have page one of one, or page in this case, one of 18, and it would say two of 18, etc. And so you can have that uh, text element in there. Right now, those are the formats that uh, Canva has. So I would probably just, I'm gonna do page plus number so that you guys are able to see this a little bit better. And you might notice this is a new thing. So as you make changes, some things may move around and that's okay. You can always move it back to where you want. And once you get it positioned, you can actually apply the properties to all the pages. And so if we scroll down, we'll see, yeah. So we have page two right here. We have page three right here. Now, if I wanted to on this, I could kind of scale this down and design it for this corner. It doesn't apply to my other pages, but once I've designed this, I can have it selected. On my left-hand side, I can say apply properties to all pages. So we click that and all those page numbers uh, change to that property, that position, that font, uh, that size, all that kind of stuff. And so you can also turn on and off page numbers on certain pages. So maybe this uh, cover slide, I don't want page numbers on. So if I click on this, I can go edit again and I can show the numbers on select pages. So we can choose all pages or uncheck maybe the current page, which would be page one, for instance. And then we can select any individual pages that we don't want the page number to be shown on. So you can see now, that I don't have the page number on page one, but I do have it once you go after that. So page two and on has the page number. So I can go in there and select which ones I want the page numbers on and which ones I don't. The last thing that you can do down here at the bottom is click this button to remove all page numbers. And so these are the options you have with page numbers right now. And then you can basically design one layout for your page numbers and apply that to all your pages. Now you can, if you want, uh, change things per page. So I could have, you know, the default design that I want for all the page numbers and I could apply that. And then maybe on certain pages, I want it to be in a different spot. So instead of up here, maybe on page two, I want to take this page number and put it down here in the corner. I can do that. And if I don't apply that to all the other pages, then page three, page four, they don't take on that same property. So you can make adjustments per page too, if you want to. I cannot double click in here or edit this text in any way, uh, but I can rotate it, move it, and change all these different effects and things like that if I want to up here at the top. Um, one other thing that Canva doesn't have right now that hopefully they do add is being able to show numbers on specifically even pages or specifically odd pages. Right now you would have to just uncheck the page that you don't want the page numbers on. Um, and then the other option would be that I, that I think would be awesome would be to like ignore the first page. And so like starting the page numbers on uh, the second page as page one, for instance. So then you could ignore the cover, but your first actual page of your booklet or something you're designing says page one, right? Or slide one. And that would be the other thing actually. 
is to be able to change that name. So if I could edit page and actually say like slide or any other word, I think that would be nice too. So hopefully those are some additions down the road. But for all of you who have been looking for automatic page numbers in Canva, this is finally a solution for you that's really easy that you can just apply to your document. And also this is right now not Canva Pro. You can see I'm not even on a Canva Pro account. So you can actually do this on the free version of Canva as well. That's how you can add page numbers in Canva.